congratulations yeah, on the Yeah, well nomination. done, both of you. How do you feel? Thank you. Very excited, quite overwhelmed as well. I'm not yeah. really expecting anything. But you, you're in a tough category, <laughs> aren't is, you? It is, a big category. So this is for best drama performance. Uh, you've got a soap veteran in I your know, category. It's exactly. kind of an honour to be alongside her, exactly. actually, I thought. It, Barbara yeah. Knox, of course. Yeah, it's lovely. And then um, everybody at Corrie is so supportive of each other anyway, so it's really nice that she's getting a chance as well to be in the category as well. As, yeah. well as, uh, <laughs> as Holly said, it is a tough category. EastEnders, Lacey Turner, but Alice <clears> Daly Miller, yeah. and, uh, and Barbara. As, uh, as, as Holly said, and equally tough in yours, Rob. Yeah. Nathan Morris, who's Milo Entwistle in Hollyoaks, yep. Danny Walters, Keanu Taylor in EastEnders, Ned Portis, who's Tom Woodhouse in Emmerdale. Yep. And how did you feel about your uh, Brilliant. But I didn't really know what to say. It was just, it's just like Lucy was saying, it is just nice to be included amongst yeah. Well, there'll be one person else. who'll be very disappointed if you, if you don't win on the night, and that's your now. Oh, <laughs> she'll be absolutely <laughs> devastated if I don't <laughs> get it devastated. No, she'll be fine. She'll get over it. She, yeah. She's got all her friends, and there she is. Yeah, oh, oh, that was a 90th birthday, that. 90. Oh, She wow. just turned 90. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She is a massive fan. She is a huge fan, yeah. She's seen it every single episode. I don't think she's missed How does she cope with, I mean, because some of it's been very traumatic. How does mm. she cope with all of that? Um, she's a, I, I think that the, you look at them and you think, oh, you're an older person, I shouldn't do this, but she's lived a life, so she's, yeah, she's fine. Yeah, no, that's true. Well, as far as, um, as, far as stories are concerned, with, uh, with Daniel desperately wanting to get back with, uh, with Sinead, his yeah. ex, and now Chesney, you know, sort of done, done what he did, that's not gonna, gonna happen. No. Do you see them together? Yeah, I think there's an unresolved relationship between them, but I think that what Ken said originally when he said, um, you'll realise that you're not meant for each other. I'm not sure whether that isn't a prophecy and that that might actually come true. Yeah. Well, there is... We know that he's got a thing for older ladies. Mm, a bit of an Oedipal the, complex going on, yeah. because yeah, of the whole Cindy thing. Am I right in thinking that there might be another lady that may come in? There may be, yes. Uh, and can you tell us anything about that? Um, it's an older... Again, it's an older woman um, who... I think there's that thing of just she sees something missing in him and he sees something missing in her and they just... Mm. Are we allowed to say who it is? Carla! I don't... Oh, yeah, <laughs> there we go. Yeah, it's Carla. I, you can say it. I wasn't sure I whether so I was allowed to say it. Look, we've even got a clip! <laughs> <laughs> so this is so... So just explain here, huh? Yeah. It's, 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 this, is this going to be a thing? Well, she's, she's kind of working her way through the Barlows, isn't she? She's been, she's been through with Peter and stuff, so... <laughs> but exactly! I mean, this is all a bit too close. I'm actually very excited about this. Yeah. Like, I think it's had a be... nice response online. I, I wasn't mm. too sure how it was going to go over, but that's it seems good. like people are quite keen. Um, and so what about your character, then? Because, oh. bless her, like, she obviously... Obviously, it's just been through the most awful year. Yeah. Um, and now she's <clears throat> taking a little bit of control back in her life, but she's going about it in quite an unusual yeah. way. I mean, it would have been really unrealistic for Corrie to kind of just leave the storyline and move on and make Bethany happy. And obviously, she's got to go down her own journey and whether this is the right thing to do, working in a lap dancing club is up for debate, but it's her journey and she's got to do it by herself. Yeah. It's funny, actually, with, uh, with that. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a, it, as you say, it's a terrific storyline, but I was just thinking about the, her family coming in yeah. to watch it, because they do, oh, don't yeah. they? Yeah, oh, no, it's, it's hilarious. Gail it's, it's in a, in so a lap funny. dancing club? It's so funny. Audrey! Audrey <laughs> in a lap dancing yeah, club? and they may or may not get quite drunk as well. So. Really? Oh. Yeah. Brilliant. So it's a it's a really good scene. It's that's really that's the great. That's what that's what Corrie does yeah, really exactly. really well, isn't yeah, it? Does. Do you um do you have any idea whether or not there is a connection in six degrees of separation? Can you connect the Platts to the Barlows? Um. This isn't part of the quiz, by the way. Oh, yeah. so you can say no. no. Uh, it's quite complicated, actually. Yeah. No, I don't think there is. Sarah Platt went out with Jason Grimshaw, whose mum is Eileen Grimshaw, who worked in the cab office with Steve McDonald, who had a baby with Tracy <laughs> Barlow, who was adopted by Ken Barlow. There, there, you, go. there you go. Well Here it comes. It's unfolding in front of your very eyes on the screen, <laughs> and there is that. proof that there are six degrees of separation. <laughs> We've wow. got a bit of a quiz for you now. Oh. I know, we're going to test you. How are you? Is this not... I am not going to be very good at this. Okay, I'm well, we will, we will find out. Lisa, <laughs> this is your question. Okay. How old was Bethany's mum, Sarah, when she gave birth to Bethany? 13. Well done, <sighs> very good. Right answer. Right, Rob, how many wives has Daniel's half brother, Peter Barlow, had? Four. <gasps> Five. Five? Oh. Yeah. Who have I forgot? It's Jessica Midgley, uh, Lucy Richards, Shelley Unwin, Leanne Battersby, and Carla Connor. Oh, oh, Carla. Yes, yeah. oh, Carla. Handy. <laughs> 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 uh, OK, Lucy, here's for you. Bethany's grand girl has had five husbands but married six times. Who did she marry twice? 
Oh. Was it, um, what's he called? Michael. Was it Michael? No, it oh, wasn't. Okay. It was Brian Tilty. <laughs> okay. I, yeah. don't, I wouldn't have thought Showing that. ourselves up. I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, it's complicated. <laughs> it's all wrong. Uh, what year did Daniel's dad, Ken Barlow, first appear in the soap? 1962. One. Uh, 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 1960. 60 is the right answer. Well done. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Right, final question. What is Bethany's great grand Audrey's maiden name? Um. Do you know this? Yeah. Do you? Oh, no, 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 no. Alf, she married Alf. That's Roberts, is his name, isn't it? Oh. Sorry. No, sorry. Oh, yeah. This um, is actually really hard. Who thought these are? I don't know the answer to that. It's actually Potter. And um, yeah, I would have never. No, thought I wouldn't have. Your final question. Okay, go on. And if you get this, then you've won. Okay. Okay, so it's, <gasps> it's all on this. Oh, God. And, yeah, and let the prize. <laughs> Is nothing. It's survival. <laughs> survival. <laughs> you can it's leave. Just your own pride. <laughs> Go on then. Ken had a fling with Daniel's mum, Denise Osborne. Yeah. But what was Denise's job? Hairdresser. Yeah! Oh, confident. Yeah. <laughs>